St. Patrick's Day. So all of my Irish friends tell me that there are two kinds of folks. Those who are Irish and those who want to be. Especially on St. Patrick's Day. And we've got Congressman Connolly to thank for adding that not only do we all want to be Irish tonight, but what could be better than being Irish and a Democrat? Well, Jerry knows not only how to throw a heck of a good party, but he also understands the values that really drive us as Democrats. We're fighting for a sensible budget rather than the meat acts of the sequester and fighting for voting laws that make it easier for people to vote rather than harder, and fighting for transportation solutions that we so desperately need. On these issues and so many more, Jerry's voice is being heard not only down the road in Washington, but all over the country. Now, for, for most of the country, this year, is a bit of a breather from elections, but not for us in Virginia. And we Democrats have a job to do. We need to elect Terry as our next governor and Democrats to the Lieutenant Governorship and Attorney General's office. So I'm gonna do something a little different tonight. I'm gonna to introduce you to a couple of Republicans you may not know. Now, we all know about our current Attorney General, Ken Cuccinelli. I always get the same reaction whenever I mention his name. Uh, but we all know about how he lets his extreme politics rather than the law guide him. But you may not know about the two clones that are hanging out there in the wings ready to fill his shoes as Attorney General. Well, if zombies are all the rage now in Hollywood, if zombies are all the rage now in Hollywood, when you meet Senator Openshane and Delegate Bell, you'll realize the zombie problem is not limited to TV and movies. Ken Cuccinelli thinks it's fine, just fine, to make private medical decisions for women. He thinks he understands women's health care better than women and their doctors do. He's happy to tell women that their doc that what medical procedures they should and should not get. He thinks he knows better, and so do his Two clones, Obenshade and Bell, and his faithful followers, and they are wrong. They both, they both voted in lockstep to deny a woman's right to choose. They both voted to force women to make, to get intrusive and unnecessary medical procedures. And they both voted to make women's health care more expensive. And they are both wrong. <laughs> and Open Shade and Bell, like Cuccinelli, think it's fine if Virginia voters wait in lines that are hours long on election day, especially if those lines are in Democratic precincts. And all three of them, all three of them fought for voter ID bill, a blatant partisan effort to keep people from voting. And Open Shane and Bell, obediently following their leader, went so far as to oppose the bipartisan compromise on transportation. So no matter which, no matter which of these Cuccinelli wannabes the Republicans nominate, they'll be nominating not only a clone of Cuccinelli, but someone who would keep politics rather than the law in the forefront of the Attorney General's office. I know these two. I've been in the same committee rooms with them. I've been on the floor of the state capitol with them. I've seen them in action. 
and I see them up close. They don't stand for Virginians, not all Virginians. They stand for the most hardcore, right-wing part of the Republican Party. That's who they stand for. Now, you know me. We have fought in the trenches together. We have worked hard on campaigns together. And we have fought for the same values. So you know that next year, when we win this race, we'll have, Virginia will have an Attorney General who will defend a woman's right to choose, an Attorney General who actually cares about their health care, an Attorney General who fights for equality for all Virginians who will protect voting rights, and Virginia will have an Attorney General who will be in and will support marriage equality. You know that the Attorney General will be in, because that's the part of you right there. So if you believe like I believe, that we need fundamental change in the Office of Attorney General, if you believe like I believe, that we need a candidate who has fought for the values we share, who knows what it takes to win tough races, then I ask that you join me. And with your hard work, help, and support, come November, Terry will be Cuccinelli, and I will be whichever of the two Cuccinelli clubs they nominate. I ask for your help, your support, and your vote at the Democratic primary on June 11th. Thanks very much.